Hi, my name is Chad from Advantech. Today, I'm going to talk about the new Advantech ProView series switches. In the factory, that requires the constant monitoring of the status on the switches through an HMI or SCADA software. The ProView series switch might be exactly what you need. ProView switches were designed to function in an industrial environment. It meets the industrial standards, including UL508, Class 1, Division 2 application, and AETX. ProView series switches are able to provide real-time networking management and monitoring for easy and quick diagnostic. This allows you to narrow down the root cause quickly and reduce the time and cost of troubleshooting. ProView series switches are the world's first convergence switches for process control and IT networking management. These switches use MOBUS TCP to communicate with the SCADA software and the SNMP with NMS software at the same time, thereby allowing full read control over the devices, either for control engineers or for IT. Today, I'm going to show you how to use one of the ProView switches, the AK5526, to communicate with SCADA software. In this case, I will be using the SCADA software InTouch from Wonderware through Mobus TCP. In the second part of the video, I will show you how to set up the ProView switch to work with the NMS software through SNMP. Before we start working on InTouch, we firstly need to configure the ProView switch. Connect the PC to ProView switch via an internet cable. Install the Advantech Edkey device configuration utility from the installation disk. The Advantech Edkey device configuration utility can be used to configure all Edkey devices, including the switch and device server. As you can see, the utility finds the switch right away. Under the utility, we set the IP mode and assign the switch and IP address. And under the system tag, we need to enable the ProView features. After clicking Apply, the switch will automatically reboot and we are now ready for the InTouch setting. Here is the InTouch window maker. I have already created a new project and added a TCP connection to the Eki5526 switch with the access name of ProView Demo to our project. To allow the SCADA to read status from the ProView switch, we need to create a new tag Click Special on the menu bar and select Tag Name Dictionary. Then the Tag Name Dictionary window pops up. Click on New to start creating the first tag. The tag we want to show in this example is the status of the Ethernet port 1 on the switch. So let's call it port 01 status. Click on Type and select IO Integer as the tag type. Then click OK. From the user menu, we found out that the data type and length for the port 1 status is represented by 4 hex character. So we set the max EU to be 65,535. Then we select the pre-configured access name ProView Demo. From the MOBUS TCP mapping table provided in ProView switch user menu, we can find the memory address for the port 1 status which is 35,097. Thus, we enter 35,097 as the item name and click Save. Let's repeat the steps and create, create all 16 tags for the port status of the all Ethernet ports on this switch. Now, after creating the tags for the port status with addition of some HMI graphics, the SCADA can now display the status of each port on the switch. Whenever a port has been disconnected, a control engineer will be able to see which port on which device is disconnected straight from the control station. As well as the port status information, the ProView switch is able to provide the device information such as device name, IP, firmware version, hardware version, and port status information such as link up counter, port speed, flow control, description, transmitted, and received count on multicast, unicast, and error packets. 
With all this information, the HMI SCADA software can now add switches to be monitored. As you can see from the above demonstration, the integration of the ProView switch can be as simple as three steps. Installation, memory mapping in SCADA software, and graphic design. The ProView series switches not only support MOBA's TCP, it also supports SNMP, which stands for Simple Networking Management Protocol, similar to MOBA's TCP in the field of automation industry. SNMP has been widely used by IT engineers to monitor and even control devices on the network. Today, I'm going to show you how a ProView switch works with one of the NMS software, SNMPC. Before we set up the SNMPC, we need to set up the ProView switch first. Connect the ProView switch to your PC via an Ethernet cable just as I did in the MOBUS TCP setup. Open the Advantag Eki device configuration utility, which automatically search for all the ProView switches on the network. Under the SNMP tag, we set up the community streams act as the password that allow the SNMP server to access data on the switch. In this case, we use public for both read and write community. Also, we set up the device name and trap server IP address. The trap server IP address is the IP address of the SNMPC server that will be used to receive event notifications sent by the switch. After configuring the switch, now we open the SNMPC and activate the service. I have already pre-configured the two TPC in the network. Now I'm adding the ProView switch into the network topology. Now, we manually add one device to represent our ProView switch on the topology. Right-click on the device icon. We select the configuration parameter under the setting. Now, the SMPC will be able to recognize all device status information stream from the ProView switch. Let's finish the topology of the local LAN network. After finishing the configuration on the SNMPC, let's take a look at how the ProView switch works with the NMS software. Similar to the MOBUS TCP we showed earlier, the SNMPC is now able to obtain device information including device name, firmware version, hardware version, and port information such as speed, count on multicast, unicast, and error packets. It also automatically notifies the SNMP server when events like cold start, warm start, and port link down and port link up happen. If you add a private MIP into your MIP library, you will be able to obtain or even change more information such as IP mode, IP address, NIC mask, default gateway, MAC address, SNMP version, read and write community, and even the trap server IP information. The idea of the ProView switch series switches is to provide management convergence between process control and IT networking management by supporting MOBUS TCP and SNMP at the same time, making both IT and control engineer able to perform real-time monitoring on the switch device simultaneously. For more information on Advantech ProView series switches, please visit www.advantech.com and thanks for watching.